What's up, Alita Army? Doc Ito here with an Alita update. The Doctor is in. Today, we're talking about an Alita fan in China watching the movie 119 times. Robert Rodriguez himself has taken note. Now, is this actually a world record? As a fan of a different movie, watched it 116 times, also reported this week. And Avengers made 1.2 billion dollars in its first weekend. And I talk a little bit about the Ranker List poll toward the end. And also an update on the IMAX situation. Is the movie actually coming back next month? But first remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of Doc Ito's free repairs. Remember to sign the petition if you haven't. We're getting around 100 votes a day and making our way to 15,000. This has been floating around Reddit. This fan from Weibo in China reports seeing the movie 119 times before it was pulled from theaters in China. This is obviously an amazing accomplishment and you are a huge member of Alita Army. So thank you for your support and thank you to China itself because without all of the support from China and the amount of money that the movie made over there, we would not be talking about a potential sequel. So really China has saved Alita. This is the Google Translate. We will always wait for you, Alita. Goodbye, my little angel. I don't know much, but this is the best I can do. It's all or nothing with me. Alita forever. We've got all the IMAX stubs, the appropriate food for the movie, more stubs, and if you zoom in here, these are all the digital links. So Robert Rodriguez actually noticed Hunter Warrior's tweet, saw this today from a huge Alita fan. That's what I call dedication. Thanks for supporting Amigo. And of course we have other warriors in Alita Army who have seen the movie a bunch of times. 72, 85, traveling all over Germany to get further screenings, and so on and so forth. We love Alita and we are fighting for her. And I appreciate that Robert Rodriguez continues to retweet Alita content. He is fighting for the movie. And we reported on this retweet before where he must have noticed that Alita crushed everything else in the Adam Tickets poll as the favorite movie of 2019. The director is aware, the studio is aware, they know how passionate we are for this movie, and I don't think they will forget about us. Now, also this week, IndieWire and other sources report a man from Wisconsin saw Captain Marvel 116 times, which they report is a world record. Of course, this fan in China at 119 would be more than that. Now this is just a coincidence that it's Captain Marvel. I'm not comparing the two movies. Like I mentioned before, I don't think the whole direct comparison is helpful. You can be a fan of both movies. You can be a fan of both Rosa Salazar and Brie Larson. You don't have to choose one or the other. We are pro Alita. We don't have to be against anything else. But there is a direct comparison here as both fans saw both movies around the same amount of times. So it is a little interesting to compare the two accomplishments. Steve Ruppel of Wisconsin saw the movie 116 times. This was 242 hours, taking long lunch breaks from work and seeing the movie on the weekend. This is a Guinness World Record. And to be official, he had to have pictures taken like in front of the movie posters and needed two written witness statements saying he was actually there and I'm assuming this was for every showing. Ruppel is a chiropractor, this is from NPR. He's not necessarily seeing Captain Marvel because he's a huge fan, and it looks like he's been trying to break other records too, like wearing 60 t-shirts while running a half marathon, and stacking 11 donuts in a single minute. How is that even a thing that we track? Guinness is just crazy. Here's Steve with all of his t-shirts. Brie Larson found out about him during the premiere of Endgame, and she said, I'm completely amazed. Anyone want to look at my face for that long? I also read that he has a record for drinking a gallon of gravy. So I think this guy is very cool. That's pretty funny. Here's what Steve thought of the movie. At first, I thought the movie could have been better. I thought it was going to be a really long road that, that I should have picked a better movie. But it has come to grow on me. So not exactly a glowing review. Uh, Steve, I think you should have picked Alita, my friend. If only you had known. You could have seen this movie a hundred and... 16 times because I'll tell you all the people that are seeing Alita over and over again It is not a long road. He says this has been pretty tough Well, people are doing this to Alita because they love the movie not because they're trying to get a record And it isn't tough for us who are seeing Alita over and over again because it's an amazing movie He once did seven back-to-back -back showings, which he felt was not good I mean, it was early on, there was still energy, but it was just really, really long. So Steve, I guess more power to you. Don't quit your day job and definitely check out Alita. And then if you want to go back and break the Guinness World Record on that, well, I don't know if it'll be in theaters enough for 120 showings, but for the sequel, 
we'll sign you up. Endgame made $350 million over the first three days in the US. This is crazy. It's breaking records all over the place and also made $1.2 billion at the global box office in just five days. These are just insane numbers. This is the end of probably the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it, so it's understandable that it's making so much money. We'll see where it ends up and I might try to look at the numbers a little bit to see if it will actually beat Avatar. We know, as reported, a bunch of IMAX theater showings have shown up for Alita on alitatickets.com. Whenever I clicked through them, it showed me Aladdin tickets, but Challenger ST found one for Alita in his area itself, and Brian Alexandros also found one in AMC Concord Mills in North Carolina for Thursday, May 23rd. In a prior video, this listing was still up, but when I look in this area now, there's no more May 23rd listings. Hunter Warrior also found one in Denver, Colorado, AMC Orchard 12 on Friday, May 24th, but when I pull up the Friday 4 p.m. May 24th showing and click to buy tickets direct from theaters, what it actually takes me to again is Aladdin. So I think this is all a fluke, a database error. I don't think the movie's coming back to IMAX because it just doesn't happen. Movies don't come back. I mean, look at Infinity War, or sorry, look at Endgame, which just made 350 million. Even that's not going to be an IMAX in May in a month, or maybe it will be, but very limited. So I don't think it's coming back as much as I would love to. I don't think it's going to happen, but if it does, I'll be ecstatic and we will let you know. On the Ranker Best Movies of All Time list, we are number one and firmly entrenched. We have 3,200 votes to 800 downvotes, so the downvotes are starting to creep up a little bit. I've had some comments saying that we should have a celebratory video, and of course I could do that. I'm sure it'll get a lot of views and a lot of likes, but there's a reason I'm keeping this toward the end of my videos nowadays, and that's because I don't want to attract too much attention to this and negative publicity. If we need to, if we're in threat of falling further down, I will have a very strong push forward. But right now, I am pleased with just having Alita at the top spot. I don't want to draw more publicity to this channel and to the achievement because ultimately the goal is not our own success, but it's the success of Alita. And the higher Alita stays and the longer Alita stays there without it being kicked down, without any attempts against it, the better. The real point of all of this was getting it up there for when it's in Blu-ray, for when it's in streaming so that people will see it on the top list, they will watch the movie, and we will grow the army. If we need to activate Alita Army to further vote, we will. For now, if you're still watching this, I know you're the diehard, so continue to vote if you haven't, but we will continue to monitor the situation and we will continue to fight because we do not stand by in the presence of evil and we will fight for this movie and we will fight for what is right. So remember to continue to support the channel, to support Alita. Our efforts are being noticed with Robert Rodriguez, noticing Alita Army accomplishments now a couple times in a couple weeks. We are still waiting for the Blu-ray, and once we get it, we will let you know. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel, continue to support Alita, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Doc out.